look at these photos. If you think that these pictures are the balding heads of men, you are wrong. They are all women. It is a fact that half of all women, half of all women, experience some form of hair loss. And today, we're going to focus on why the hair loss and what you can do about it. Please welcome back to The View from the Juva Skin and Laser Center, Dr. Bruce Katz. Good morning, doctor. Thank you. Thank what, you that's a huge number. What, what causes women to lose their hair, in general? There are a variety of causes, and that can include pregnancy, crash dieting, infections, drugs, and very commonly, genetics. Hmm. And there are actually four common hair loss problems that women face. Why don't we start with the first one, and I know a lot of people have heard this word, alopecia. Yes, this is a case of alopecia areata. And what happens here is certain cells attack the hair follicles and turn them off. And what we do is treat it with topical medicines, such as Rogaine here, or injections of steroids. The hair actually stops growing with this, am I correct? That's correct. Yeah. Then the next well, time... Well, can I just add, so Rogaine you would rub in every morning and every night, right? right twice and a men day. do this a lot. Yes. Twice a day you rub in this cream. And that gradually gets the, hairs, the hair follicles to start growing again. Okay. And then your second is, explain this to us. Okay, well, the next photo here you see is what's called collagen effluvium. And what happens, you have diffuse shedding of the hair. This often occurs from medications or crash diets. And if you stop the cause, the hair will all grow back. Oh, really? So that one's an easy one to treat. Exactly. All right, all right, so this is temporary. And then the next one is a different kind of alopecia. This is traction alopecia. And a lot of African-American women get this. That's true. It's very common in African-American women, particularly from putting tight braids on the hair. If you stop doing this early enough, you can reverse the problem. If you don't, you'll end up with permanent hair loss, just in that rim around the scalp. I see. Very often you see it on, on little children, and it looks adorable, but it's something that shouldn't be done. Right. It should be avoided. In terms of pulling it back, yeah. pulling it forward, fine. Too, too hard. If you pull it too hard, it really puts traction on the hair follicles, and they stop growing. And then finally, another kind of alopecia. Well, this is very common. This is from genetics, or runs in families. This is what we call female pattern hair loss. And this, really, the best way to treat is with hair transplantation. Now, we always hear about hair transplants being done for men. And they usually take the hair from behind and transplant it in the front, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, That's but right. can you show us what you do with women and does it hurt and how long does it take, et cetera? Well, a lot of people don't realize, and women in particular, this is a very effective way to treat hair loss. It doesn't hurt. We do it under local anesthesia. You have a knife in your hand and you're telling me it doesn't hurt. <laughs> well, what we do is we numb the area with a little bit of anesthesia, like when you go to the dentist. It just numbs the area and we take a strip of skin from the back where the hairs always grow. And we just close it with stitches. And we take little single or two or three hairs from each of these little strips and make little holes in the top here. And we'll make a little hole with a tiny punch like that to put the hairs in the front. And we can do three or 400 at a time. Really? It's really painless. These hairs grow forever. They grow back. And they grow and they, yeah. they're around as long as that individual is around. Huh. And you see these little hairs right here. That's the way they look initially as they start to grow. And we and can fill an entire area. How long does the, the procedure take? It takes about three hours. Of course, depending upon how, how bald one is, but this works extremely well. Can you use somebody else's hair? You really can only use your own your hair. Your own hair and your own skin, and that's what makes it keep, keep growing. And you never reject it. Well, exactly. <clears throat> on this dummy is one thing, but you actually brought some pictures so we can see what the real transplants look like, because I know people get scared of that plug thing. Well, that's true. That's a, that's of the old, the old approach. And what we do today, we use many micrographs. You see the photo on the left side of the screen, that's before a hair transplant, and that's one week after. Okay, and let's go to one year after. And you can see this woman was bald on the side of her scalp on the left side, and one year after, the entire hair has been filled in. And then this is two years later. Mm. And this is Remarkable. actually an example of a woman who had a bad burn. She lost all the hair on the right side of her scalp. We did hair transplants two years after. All the hair has grown back looks completely natural. It's really revolutionary new technique. Is it a chance that the hair could fall out again? No, once the hair is transplanted, it's taken from the back where it always grows genetically. Yeah. So it never comes out. You do see some men though who have had the transplant here and then it's gone and then there's it, it, they get bald or back here and so forth, but that doesn't usually happen with women. Well, with the new techniques, you really don't see that. If uh -huh. it's filled in properly, it looks extremely natural. Now, you haven't done it to yourself. These are actually all hair transplants. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know your teeth. Yes, no, I'm serious. That's all hair transplants That's in your exactly head? How far right. back would it go? Um, all the way back. Really? Yes. Did you do it to yourself? No. 
No. No, I know the doctors do it. <laughs> well, you did but a very good job. But it shows you how natural it can be. Yes, it was. Wow. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Well, good thank you, Dr. Katz. And, and this, this is important to a great many women. And we'd like to just tell you that for more information on female hair loss, you log on to our website. And we will be right back with segment five and a few of stars, a uh, few of the words that Star used at the opening of the program. <laughs> <laughs> the bad words. Thank you, Dr. Katz. My pleasure. Yeah. There's